everybody. So, this is gonna be the frying up session. I'm gonna put this on hot, all the way on high. So now temperature is on high. What we're gonna add in here is a little bit of country crock. Now, if you're wondering what country crock is, it's, it's a margarine that, uh, I don't know if I should say this, but it has palm oil in it. So unfortunately it has palm oil, but hopefully they do sustainable um, harvesting of that said product because there is a little bit of a problem with non-sustainable palm, palm oil harvesting and people harvesting to reduce rainforests, um, et cetera and the like, which I'm personally against. I like my palm oil trees. I'd rather you plant two and uh, Actually, maybe plant seven, because you know, sometimes there's gonna be a storm, sometimes there's gonna be bad weather, uh, sometimes there's gonna be people who chop it down, the occasional person with a car that rams into a tree. Uh, there's lightning, lightning's a big one, uh, that can explode the tree. Let's see what else, what else? Uh, oh, disease, decay, and what was the other ones? Hmm, you could get, oh, the, the soil could wash away, leaving nowhere for the tree to stand. Although it doesn't usually happen. But there's so many things that could potentially wreck a whole lot of trees. So, you know, maybe plant seven for every one you get, and then you, you're covered throughout the years. People wonder, oh, I don't have any, enough space. We don't have enough palm trees. While well, you're planting one, to one harvest. That one palm tree usually probably makes a whole lot of seeds and pollinates a whole bunch of places. For that year, you have not allowed them to do just that. So maybe you should plant as many tree seeds as that plant would normally not have, or sorry, would normally make. This is not enough margarine. I hate to say that. This is a special day. It's been a very long time since I actually smoked any meat and grilled any meat. Mm, okay, you don't want your butter too hot. You don't want your butter too cold. It needs to turn down a little bit. It's starting to smoke up. That I don't want. Because that is reducing the amount of water in my pan here. It probably looks so silly. Now, if I have some fresh watercress, I'd put some watercress in at this point. Okay, that's that's a little better. We're gonna get that stewing. Get that butter on the table here. Ooh, it's sizzling. Ooh, it's schmizzling. Schmizzling up. Okay. me and yeah there's not a lot to go here go with here but um I'll just keep this somewhat near the side that way we can make a little bit of a crust we can crust it up and we can have the butter fall and not have to go a whole long way and just kind of come down here reducing the amount of time that the butter needs butter I keep saying butter it is margarine it is margarine Why do I like to keep adding margarine instead of just having one whole half a cup of margarine? I like the taste when it's like that raw margarine. It's just so good. Mm. It's like that, it's a fresh taste. And if you keep adding it throughout, yes, you make the butter a little colder, but if you keep the stove on a hot temperature, it melts fine enough. And yes, you lose a little bit of butter moisture to the heat, but only a little bit. Only a little bit, not cocaine. Let me get that spread out here. Oh, oh I guess I should move it. I'm getting a little bit of panko stickiness. Let's check. Ooh, a little bit of a crust. Not enough for me. That's not enough crust for me. That's 
boiling and bubbling. Just gonna do under side here. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's get that moving down. Okay. So even the fat looks glistening. Love it. Love it. Love it. This looks so delicious. Goldening up nicely. The butter is kind of melting down. Margarine. Come on, butter. Cook a little better. I want a pan that's like a V shape, like a cheese wedge shape. That way I can put it flat on the stove, but still have the butter. Like an angled pan. I still have the butter come to the bottom when I want it to. That'd be great. I would love that. Okay, let's see how this is turning out. I'm seeing some charring down there by some particulates. Not sure which ones those are. There's a little bit of char on there. You know what, that side? I'll cook that side a little, a little soft. I won't put a full char on that one. This guy's gonna get the pan side treatment. Let's get this on medium. I have a family member who swears on medium. Not like, doesn't curse, but she, she's always cooking her steaks on medium. I think she found some secret that she's not sharing with me. Exactly, write down all the recipes. It's all just she knows them. She knows how she cooks. She doesn't seem to forget. It's kind of weird. Who doesn't write down at least some of their recipes? He doesn't even really try to make recipes. He just finds recipes and then keeps making them. Like she just automatically remembers them every time. There are some more difficult ones, like baking ones, that she does. She does go to the recipe book for it, but then she doesn't even go back to it. She, she does go to like one, and she loses the recipe. It's very funny. That's how she has to look like so far. Not bad. You know, let's set this to four instead of the six I have about. But maybe that's a bit much. I'm starting to get a lot of chunky in. So this is all good stuff. All, it's all salt. I could have probably washed it. But who wants to wash a nice steak that, you know, or pork chop? We did a good job with I don't know many people who would. I say you need a spatula. Here, my spatula. Yes, this is my spatula. Right now I'm actually trying to keep the pork on the side where the element is and prepping an area for the element where my pork's gonna go. Just so I can keep the paint around the side. And that salt is all the uh, salt. Some of it's salt, some of it's black, some of it's um, the high seasoning. So I don't really want to get rid of that too much. I, I do want to kind of cook with it just a tad. It really is just to season it up. Okay, I think, ooh, ooh, look at, look at that. That is crisp. You know what, I'm gonna go for that on the other side. Is that, oh my God, that looks so good. Mm, this is bubbling. Look at that, mm. 
It didn't taste like anything, actually. Oh. Looks good in the microwave. It's just kind of smooth and steady. Is it a piece of fat? I don't know. I'm going to try it. Nope. I don't know what that was. It's just like fox stuff. Might be, might be fox. Was this a piece of meat or a piece of fox? I don't know. Looks like a piece of fox to me. It does the fox. Ooh. Okay, that's got a little char on it. I think that's good enough for me. Look at, look at that orangeness. Oh my god, something just went amazing there. Okay, that's going to be my top. And now, we, since I've turned that off, get to enjoy the beauty of a steak in a pan. I'm steak pan man. You know that steak in the pan. I don't care what you all say about my hand. Cooking that steak. Cooking that steak in the pan. Look at that brown turtle. It's so filleted, man. Mm. Gotta get that food. Mm. Gonna be good for me and for you. Can't wait to. Do that, dude. Dripping from all those crevices that you thought you knew. Mm. Okay. There it is. Juicy brilliance. Now we we really see that juice come down. Well, it might be margarine, but. Mm. Face and oil. Oh, those YouTube comments. Oh. You know what Gordon Ramsay would say? Gordon Ramsay would say, get a, get a facial. Go get your facial. It feels just nice. It feels so nice. It's just like a facial. I say this tastes so good. It's like candy. Oh, yeah. Everybody, that's it for now. Thank you very much.